In World War II, soldiers needed a reliable way to have access to first aid supplies in case someone got injured in combat, even if there weren't medical personnel around. For that reason, each soldier was issued a pouch like this and this type of bandage called a Carlisle bandage or a battle dressing. That bandage pouch would be worn right on your web belt and it wasn't so you could use it on other people if they got wounded. It was intended so that if you saw somebody who was wounded, you would know exactly where to look to pull out their bandage and use it on them so that you had your own in case you got injured. These were issued to pretty much all personnel during the war, and this wasn't just a US World War II thing. Many different countries in different conflicts used this system because of its reliability. In addition to these smaller bandage pouches, larger packs like this were given to soldiers in situations where it might be hard to get resupplied with medical equipment or harder to evacuate their wounded. So these were given to uh, airborne troops and troops taking part in major invasions. And these would contain tourniquets, and morphine, things that not every soldier would need, but that would be good to have on hand when medical personnel aren't as available. There were other specialized first aid kits like that given out throughout the war, and one of the more notable ones in the Pacific Theater was the Jungle First Aid Kit, which contained medicine and medical supplies that were specific to jungle situations.